Okay, so this is a uh, poop emoji. As you can see, he's got a number of hypodermic needles stuffed into him. And I guess this is my own take or graphic for uh, what I see about lefty harm reduction policies that have turned cities and towns all across North America into zombie apocalypse opioid wastelands uh, giving addicts drugs has not been reducing harm. I think it should be changed to harm production, not reduction, because obviously it isn't working. It's failing to reduce the harm. Now they're just tossing syringes everywhere downtown without a thought or a care, and pooping wherever they need to go, wherever they are. There was a time when that didn't happen, and it wasn't that long ago, so what's changed? Harm reduction. How bad does it got to get before there's a departure from this failed lefty program? I mean, uh, you know, anything you see, the media is so corrupt, they will never say anything bad about it. Oh yes, we need more safe injection sites, and we need to give out clinical-grade heroin, and... That's not what taxpayers to pay tax for. People who are in active addiction are basically in a living hell. They're not having any fun. Abstinence is the ultimate harm reduction program. But abstinence isn't even optioned to those going into harm reduction, methadone, drug replacement programs. Uh, apparently, heroin takes four days to taper out and wean off it. Apparently, methadone takes 30 days of pure hell and it can even take longer, and I've heard of people struggling with it six months, a year, even a year and a half after. Uh, so it doesn't seem like a very good solution, and the other thing that no one is talking about is the whole point to that was they were going to wean them off one day, you know, take 18 months or whatever time and hopefully, you know, give them a chance to establish jobs and lives and careers and school and then taper them off, but there are people who have been on methadone for one decade, two decades, probably some are nearing three decades, and uh, what isn't being talked about is that long-term methadone use leads to deadly strokes and if you search this online harm, re harm reduction drug replacement therapy um, you don't have to do much research to find out that what I'm saying here is accurate uh, I hope things can change, but they won't change as long as the people involved in the addiction industry, and it has been turned into an industry very profitable for some. You know, and I just gotta say, like, turning it into an industry and making a living off people who are living in abject misery. That's a level of evil, you know, they've
replace the drug dealer. That's what they've done. Uh, so, happy junkie poop, everyone. <laughs>